As we say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, I notice we always say one nation under God. We pause just a moment. Do you know the United States Congress, when they implemented that change to the Pledge of Allegiance, explicitly stated there was no comma between one nation under God because they would never separate our country from that upon which it was founded, and that upon which we believe. But today we've come a long way, haven't we? We have basically a crisis in our country, a moral, economic, and constitutional crisis. But we've been there before. We were there in December of 1776 when Washington's army was fleeing from the, the British. A young man by the name of Thomas Paine wrote a pamphlet entitled The Crisis, in which he said, these are the times that try men's soul. We got to entice business back, and that caused for removing unnecessary regulations, removing unnecessary taxes. You know, the more we tax business, the more the people get taxed. It's a, it's a vicious cycle. You remove the taxes, they hire people, then we have more taxes from the people that are employed. Just makes sense. When I went to Vietnam, I was sworn to uphold that constitution, defend it. When I came back and I became a lawyer, then a judge, I was sworn to uphold the constitution of the United States. And as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Alabama, I was sworn to uphold the constitution of the United States. I have seen no greater problems that we have than our departure from that document. I think we could agree on this. We are a blessed nation. We've been blessed because of God. We've also been blessed because we adopted a constitution many years ago that restrained the power of men. I'll tell you where our rights come from. They come from God. And in a conservative group, if we don't return to the conservative principles upon which this country we were founding, which still have the same meaning, then we're going to lose our country. Our rights don't come from a government of men. If they did, they'll take the only truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It goes on to say that to secure these rights, and that's a big point, Government is not there to give you rights. The Bill of Rights didn't give you rights. It secured the rights for you. A couple of years ago, or a few years ago, I took a serious stand about the Ten Commandments. Could I update them on that? Well, that battle is over, seemingly. But the issue was, can the state acknowledge God? That was the issue that the judge said. His answer was, while the Chief Justice is free to keep whatever religious belief he chooses, the state may not acknowledge the sovereignty of the Judeo-Christian God and attribute to that God a religious freedom. It was never about the Ten Commandments. It was never about a monument. It was about whether or not I would say there was a sovereign God. And I said, I did, I would, and I'll do it again. They didn't like that. We've got to stop the taking away of our rights. And that's what's happening. The First Amendment religion clauses would not exist without giving us the freedom to worship God according to the dictates of our conscience. It was all about God. When we say, God bless America, we say, in God we trust. When the United States Supreme Court opens with, may God save the United States of Sonable Court, they too acknowledge the sovereignty of God, but then they forbid that by state and local officials. What this country was about. It's about freedom, about personal responsibility, about states' rights. I mean, we shouldn't have Arizona sued right now. And Jan Brewer is doing a wonderful job in her state to try to protect the health, safety, and welfare of its citizens. Thank you very much. Uh, some of, uh, closing announcements. Uh, first of all, the Rob Kelly dinner on May 26th uh, at the downtown Marriott. There's still room to get a table there. Uh, and the guest speaker for that event is Michelle Bachman.